Sorry about that. I buggered it up. All right. So this is Tenerpool. Right. Now I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you the Tenerpool Railway Museum, the one that I helped get started. So you know I'm not pulling your leg on this channel. This is 850 kilometres north of Sydney. Right. I done the one there zigzag. Um, that's Nunes Junction. That's one I was talking about earlier at uh, Dargan. That's the name of the train station. Actually, it's called Nunes Junction. Wang, which is just west of Lipgo. Uh, driving into Lipgo, Katoomba and the Three Sisters. Let's have a look. Let's see what we got. Bell Railway Station and Bell Railway Station found a surprise. Um, there's the one I was talking about. Yowie Hunters Dean Harrison at Hazelbrook. Right, there's Mr. Dog in the back of the car. And somebody left me a lovely comment. Oh, it's probably going to eat up Mr. Dog. The Yowie was going to eat up Mr. Dog. And I thought that was rather good. Now, there's the Byron Bay Solar Power Train. Now, that's at uh, Candos before, now you notice the number is 661. Now, that's before it got the solar power and they took one diesel out. And that ran from Candos back to Wellerawang and it went down there. Now, that there gate there is where I drove the steam train in through that gate there. And you get down and watch that video, that's down at Banks Meadow, down at Port Botany. Just around the corner there from the Pier Hotel at Botany. Um, when I was about oh, 11 years old, we went in there to the Empire Diesel Yard. Um, where is my little one? There we go. Uh, Jennings Railway Station, which is the New South Wales-Queensland border. And that is the New South Wales. That is the New South Wales Queensland border. That's New South Wales. That's a platform, the New South Wales gauge. That's New South Wales. That's Queensland, right there. And then on this side is the Queensland gauge rail. So you can go and watch that Jennings railway station. Where is it? It's also got. Um, why has I was angry, angry women of this year's railway line survey that I did up there and learning train tracks that's another one up there there's the emu plains train that's up there at Tenderfield Railway Museum and where are we let's have a look down here well this one see there's a vineyard level crossing the old Windsor Bridge which is now gone there it is there it's been ripped out Man, I get around, man. I get around, man. I keep telling people that. I get around everywhere. See, Putty Road being built over the Colo River. And it actually, in that video, I actually chose the name of the video, it actually shows um, the army troops walking down there in World War Two. How about this? Australian Prime Minister, again, same-sex marriage, and event that his daughter was, was a lesbian. So Tony Abbott marries... Tony Abbott wearing a dress. Look at that, the former Prime Minister. So if you want to wrong, um, some mother do you let us be ridiculously and see. Mullumbimby. Everybody's heard about Mullumbimby madness. You know, everybody up there smokes creek. Here we go. Where is creek? That's up there. That's just down the road there from Wingen. Here we go. Tenerfield Railway Station. And this guy here didn't even know. Awesome. He's a volunteer. He didn't even know I'm one of the founding fathers. So let's have a quick look at that. And here we go. Now that's that's a train I used to drive with my father. So it's got the word bell and lights. But this is me first walking into the museum. So there's Tenderfield, right up the top. Yes, Sydney. Sydney's way, 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 way down there, right? And then there's the Queensland border. Now this guy... He's coming the holes in the ceiling. He went up first... You don't know me, do you? 
You really done it. You want me to show you? My name's on the wall. <laughs> this is proof. I really actually, I'm, I'm one of the founding you know, fathers. Man, you? So what, you're, you're a volunteer? And you know, it doesn't know who I am? Who's my sister, John? Are you a volunteer here too? No, no, he's a cut. Oh, he's a cut, all right. Well, you want to come and have a look and I'll show you a bit of history. <laughs> I started yeah. doing this in 1995. This? And people say, how, much, how come I know so much about railways in New South Wales? See that diagram? I personally photocopied that of an 1886 diagram. diagram. This is it. That's it there. It's the only copy That's left. Me. That's me. That's me. Well, I'm one of the original founding fathers. That's me. That's you. How's that for a surprise? You met the man that found that, and that was sitting in my office. And I'll tell you the story behind it. I had all these guys up here, bloke by the name of Jack Pepper. He said, oh, we're trying to find the original diagram of Tenerfield Railway Station. And they said, we can't find it. Because how long is the station from bridge to bridge? One mile? One mile. From bridge to bridge, this way. Yeah. Yes, over a mile. This guy is just a visitor, right? <laughs> right. Now yeah, look, you see, you see that little the white tag? That's my name. Here. It says 1886. And it was sitting in my office. <laughs> yeah, it was sitting in my yeah, office. I can see up there. I didn't bring my glasses. Oh, yeah, so this is, the, I don't know where they got this from. That's a blueprinty looking thing. That's a, but they've since swapped them over. They put the white one on the bottom. It's See, look, there's me. Person, look, that's Mr. Hominoy, that's Hominoy. my real name. Yeah, somebody did that, and I didn't approve of that. They the, they got the red text, the red pencil, yeah. and they've actually got that upside down. Because <laughs> that's saying Queensland's that way. Queensland's this way. There's the station building here. That should be up over there. So, but see, they drew, they draw it upside down. Drew it upside down. Not to... <laughs> so somewhere it's just up there. Just, you know, yeah, here it comes. I actually climb up. What's this? I actually climb up on on, on the desk. And Watch, and I'll actually show you eighty six. You'll actually see it. Glenelg's to Tenerfield station arrangement, Tenerfield's New South Wales. I didn't have my glasses on, I'm trying to see it with the camera. Yeah, anyway, it was hand drawn in 1886. Well, you know. Okay, so here's the diagram. Zoom it out, I'm standing up on my feet. I didn't realise I had the camera around the wrong way. That's why I got There's this narrow there. picture. That's a bridge up the other end. Yeah, that, that's There's a road bridge. That's turn table. That's on the northern end. This is where the, point, the red line here, which somebody put in there, which I didn't want them to do that. Right. So what happened was, I, was, I went up there to Tenerfield, and I walked in there, and I had a letter there from the railways to say, I'm up there to inspect all the disused railway lines. Now, it goes from Armadale to Demerick, Exmouth, uh, and then it goes to uh, Guyrad up to uh, Ben Lomond, the highest New South Wales railway line in New South Wales in height, 4,486 feet. And then it comes around down to Glencoe, and then it comes into Glen Innes, and then it goes up to Stonehenge, and it goes up to Deep Water, and it goes up to Bolivia. And then round the bluff, uh, sandy flat, and around the corner to Bluff Rock, and Bluff Rock comes up to another little station, and then it gets there to Tenerfield, and then from Tenerfield they then built the railway line up to the Queensland border of Wollongarra, and they designed this station, and the first proposal was to build the Queensland gauge from Wollongarra through Jennings, New South Wales, down to Tenerfield, and make Tenerfield a trans shipping platform. But the problem was they only had one platform, so they couldn't transship for World War Two. So that's why you have this other video, which I'll come to.
I did it. And this is hand drawn. And it's written on there somewhere. 86. There it is. Whoop. I just went past it. Okay, so here's the diagram. Zoom it out. I'm standing up on my feet. You can actually see 86. I know, I know it sounds like I'm going on a lot, but I'm, they're not going to tell you the most disgusting part about this. Is that after I photocopied this, and I kept the photocopy of myself, the original diagram was stolen, and it never went from the railway archives out to the state government archives. And state government archives, there it is, right there. That little blur there is 86. You watch. You hear me say it. March 86. 86. There's the railway turntable. This is where the point, the red line here, which somebody put in there, which I didn't want them to do that, but they did it. And this is hand drawn. And it's written on there somewhere. There it is. Look. 86. There it is, right there. See? It's 8286. What does it say? 8286. 8286. 8 to February 86. 8 to February 86. 8 to February 86. Yeah. So there you go. You can see that for yourself. There it is. Oh. There you go. And this is the only copy left in. No, that was before the place was built. Well, that's it. They had to draw it up before they built it. See, 831 miles back to Sydney. I'll tell you the story about that. I'll tell you exactly what they did. Um, oh, look, yeah, look at that. Look, yeah. look, they've got a model railway there. Look, look at everything up there. It's beautiful. Yeah. Look at those ceilings. I've got all those ceilings. Are you... I spent over ten thousand dollars on that job right. myself. Yeah, my friend Tony was asking the other day down in Sydney. See Tony, that's coal. Now Tony here Brooklyn. comes the Emu Plains that's train. A that's a meat wagon. That's where the butcher hangs up all the meat. They used to go along no, to the country else. stations and pull up these little tiny country towns, and they pull up, and people would walk up in there, and they say. Oh, I want so many pieces of lamb, I want some beef, I want some kidney, I want some liver. And they're walking there, and you actually see the meat rings where they used to hang the meat up in the carriage, and the flies wouldn't be in there because the train would be moving. I'll do another video, this is just one real quick one. So Have a look. Mate, Mr. Tony gets naughty. See, sell the hooks. Didn't show. This other video, this guy coming in, your video. Sell listen. the hooks. He didn't show all these meat hooks. See, so anybody gets naughty, <laughs> you can't be in a tenor film, that's what we're doing. Hang me up now, on the hook. there's my father's train. <laughs> that's Losing. that's that's the second carriage to the to my father's train. And here we go. This and, is what uh, I did. Dad's famous words were, "Come on, nearly boy, you you can have a go." Just for a sec, right. Now that's that's, that's, that's Bolivia. Bolivia. Signal levers and Bolivia, the railway station way down the track. They it got eaten out by termites. And they put just a straight line in. And that frame was there in 1995 in Bolivia station signal box when I was there doing this survey up here for the state government. And that's why I know that's... <laughs> that's why I know what I know. So, so there's Tenerville. Yeah. Now you watch this. Oh, I drove now. this train when I was yeah. between 12 to 18. See? And I'm now 61. That's the gas bottles. That's when they put the gas bottles in for the heaters. And the heaters used to be just up here. So they so took them out and put, put them in here. another train. Look, see? That tank there. That's the air brake tank. That's your air cylinder. That, that's the, air, the big air, air tank. Right, and there's your power extinguisher. And this here was when you... Emergency breakdown box. The security that there was your breakdown kit. <laughs> and that's what that was. Want to come in? I'll show you something. 
Now, for Alec Crass, North Richmond. Alec North Crass Richmond, West of Sydney. He put Alex, that in there 40 clear. years ago. <laughs> Because the railway oh, guard seat was no ago, good, so he put that in there 40 right. years ago and it's still there in the museum. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Alec Crass is still alive. He's 78 years so of age. You're coming in like this. So you get your, your brake and you have to put it in, flip it and in. And there's a cock like, down the bottom. And then down here you have a cock. And, and someone's with taken it away, they salvage it for another it train. There's a tap down there. This picture is actually not tap. right enough on the camera. And that was. And this, this one here was. Right? And then what you do, see, so you've got idle, transmission idle, one third throttle, two thirds throttle, full throttle. And you push the button in. But you can't you because like you need the driver's up. key. But you needed the key to put it out of off into reverse or forward. Right? Yeah, then, the how do you start it? Was what you have here, see? Engine select, one and two. So you go engine one, yep. boop, engine two, boop, and then when you want to stop them and you've done your day shift, boop, kill it. Put it back, boop, kill it. Right? Red means stop, right? There's your bell to ring the guard down the back, if he's down the back of the train. Ring, 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 ring. Is there a delay? Or... No, it's automatic. Same bell is right here. There's right? no power. That's the same bell. Right. You go ding, ding. Now there's your sander one and two, and that's front Put sand in front of the, the wheels motors. or behind the wheels, depending which trailer way you're going. Trailer light red, trailer light white. Right, sorry. Trailer light. I didn't left. have my glasses on. <laughs> Hang on. Trailer. Anyway, you want to watch that one? White. 622 oh, Tenerife Railway. So trailer. Trailer light white. Trailer right. Trailer right. And one's on the left, right? So one's left and one's right. See? Left. Right. See? Left. White and red. So, if this was going to be the tail, we have that down, that down. That, it was actually down, right. up, down, up. <laughs> Sorry, that up, that down. That, that up. up. Right? So now it's... Mate, I've driven it for 40 years. Give me a break. On, tail light, red, right. right. Now, let's come back to Wollongarra. Now, there's that one there, right? That's Ralph. This is Wollongarra. That was actually going to be my house, actually. They now turned it into the post office. Have a look, look. See, it's got a red and white sign on it, right? And I call it crazy driving. And I actually drive up on the World War II platform where the Australian troops cross from the New South Wales gauge, four foot eight and a half inches, to the Queensland gauge, a three foot six. So you can go and have a gander at that one. And then over here, this is something a lot of people don't watch this one. This is the biggest Queen's Crown hair bridge on the whole New England. If you're into bridges, now all these bricks were hand kilned on site in 1886. Think about it. They're 800 miles away from Sydney. And they've got steam shovels, horse, donkeys, or donkeys, horses, um, and steam engine type tractors. Right? No diesel like you've got today. And this is the size of this Queen's Crown Head Bridge. Now, everybody knows that. All this here. It's come from up there. See, look, I can see sunlight. This is what I do. I go all over the state of New look South this. Wales. Look at that beautiful look. That's sandstone. It's granite. Or oh, granite, sorry. Hand carved granite. And look, look at the debris up there on top look, of the bridge. See, see? there's debris right up the top. So That's the how deep the flood water is. 
And look See how, how wobbly the bridge is. Water? Right up to there. I'd be, look, I'd be way underwater. So there's a regional road bridge over there. So, so you go and watch that one. You, you'll see what I'm talking about. See? All hand kiln Queen. bricks, and look how good the Queen. water still is. Oh, that's see? what it's I a... did, people. I inspected all these sorts of bridges all over the state of New South Wales. I had to get up there and walk across them all by my little self. Back in 1995. You see the sunlight through the holes? See the holes, the sunlight? Yeah, they're condemned. Look at this here. So this is sediment. See? The flood water goes that way. See the sediment? Now, this is what people don't realise. Because you're on the New England Highway and the coast is 100 k's to the east, they expect the water there to go to the east. It doesn't. This is going to absolutely blow your brain out, right? Because to the east of the New England Highway is the ranges on over the Bruxner Highway that then comes over to Woodenbong, which then comes over to Casino, where the water does travel east. This water here is on the other side of the mountain, so it's got to go west. So when it goes west, it then comes across and joins into other rivers, such as the Severn River, S-E-V-E-R-N, which is also on the Do You Want to Be a Millionaire question in Sydney, in Melbourne. And that was one question I sent in. And the question was... There's rivers in New South Wales that sound like numbers. Fivedom, Sextum, Saburn and Eightum. And the guy choose, chose Sixtum. But it wasn't. It's called the Severn. S-E-V-E-R-N, not S-E-V-E-N. Severn River. Well, this water right here runs into the Severn River, which then runs all the way down through Central Australia this is going to blow your brain, down through Lake Eyre and comes out down through the Murray River into Adelaide in South Australia. Now, this is in the northern New South Wales and we're 10 kilometres away from the Queensland border. So you go, if you don't believe me, go and get a Google map and look up Queen's Head Bridge just north of Tenerfield, and you go follow the blue water lines on the Google Maps, and you'll see that runs all the way down to Adelaide in South Australia, some 3,500 kilometres away. The water runs either side. So the sediment, the water goes through there and dumps all that there behind because the ballast has fallen has down. Up there. See, and it's blocked it. And up there. And therefore, then it holds it. Now, let's just rewind this video and I'll show you how big this bridge is when I stand back a bit. Here it comes. Right, right about there. Check out the size <laughs> of this bridge. This is called the Queen's Crowned Head Bridge. So look, see all the floodwater, look. The floodwater just went down I two days ago. Little car in here. It's not in the four wheel drive. Two days ago, that was fully look, flooded. It's so wet. I slid down here through all the mud. It was great. <laughs> look at the size of this structure. Yeah, look, all this was handmade in 1886. So look, they had all that tape up there to keep people out or whatever. So this is what happened to the Queen's Crown Head Bridge. And that got closed back in 1980. And this is built back in 1886. And then they closed 18, it in 1980. 86. So, you know... It lasted a hundred years. And all these bricks were handed. And that is the New England Highway Bridge behind it. All around here. This is something now, you'll I'm never ever see publicly because you have to be a railway nobody, bridge inspector to get in onto before. this side of the ground because this is railway property. This video is never been seen before. This filming of these bricks nobody is allowed to comes be there. over here. There's the road over there with the new bridge. So how can you see it? See what happens? So he gets it's a big bow in the middle, it. The supports give way. And that's a Queen's. That's half a Queen's so, crown. 
Now, that's a very similar bridge to the Bluff River Bridge, which is south of Tenerfield, where the Yowie was storing the dead carcasses of horses and sheep uh, underneath the facial. Now, this bridge here has a brick facial. The other one on the Bluff River, south of Tenerfield, south of Bluff Rock, you can actually see it on Google Earth right next to the New England Highway. Uh, but you can't zoom down close enough. But I'll show you exactly on the same end of this bridge, exactly where these horses skulls, horses leg bones, sheep, goats, dogs, foxes, rabbits, all were tucked in over these huge long timber beams. Now, yeah, I, should... I inspected that bridge back in 1995. I had to walk up there. I'm not keen on doing yeah, any more. I should turn I'm around. Standing there by myself. Later on Monday afternoon. You'll see a brick facial. See hand kilned local bricks. They didn't bring these bricks up here from Sydney. Look, Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at it. You would never see anything like this again in your life. This is a disused railway bridge. 1886. Now, right it's there, see down. that? Right, that's called the facial. Now, on this one on the Bluff River, it's got this, the dirt here, but the railway line is this high, and it doesn't have these big towers on it, right? But right here, it's got timber beams, and the timber beams here have been taken away, and there's only two timber beams on the bottom. And I walked in there like that, and here's all these dead animal carcasses. And they're hidden underneath where these big timbers go across into the dirt. There's an air cavity between these two timbers and these. It's like a cave. And there's all these dead animal bones. Now, you're not going to tell me a horse is going to walk in underneath a railway bridge and die, along with sheep and goats and dogs and foxes. Come on. I'm Mr. Hominoid. And that is just around the corner from where Yowie Hunters Tenderfield, that one I showed you before, which I'll now come back to, and I'll show you. Right, so this is the one at Tenerfield that he says is Tenerfield. It's actually down there at Bluff Rock. Now, Bluff Rock has the Bluff River next to it, which is what I just explained about that bridge, which is the Bluff River Bridge. Now, let's see if I can get a big map up on this TV set. And there's the other one there, that funny one I was doing in the other next video, where he says between Putty and Colo. But look, it's 146 k's to Windsor. Well, Colo is only 36 k's to Windsor, and Putty is only 56. So why did he use the wrong sign? So he's approximately 90 kilometres out. And that tin shed, that's at a town called Borrowdale, which has got the army, um, so not the army, the um, truck driver's memorial, which I did a video on, which is that one there. Oh, sorry, Milbradale, not Borrowdale, Milbradale. And that's the truck driver's memorial. That's exactly the same intersection, right? He's just turned the. He's just turned. He's just going around the corner. So because you go to Singleton that way, and that goes to Broke that way, and this comes back this way down here, and goes down to Putty. So Dean Harrison's a Queenslander, but you can at least look on a map properly. <laughs> Uh, here's something a lot of people don't know. Dean Harrison is actually the son, his father, um, Harrow, um, is it Harrow, Harris something plumbing, Harrow, I can't think of his name. It's a big Melbourne plumbing company. Um, it's not, he doesn't call it Harrison. It's called Harrah, Harris something. And um, 
or Harris Plumbing, and they supply plumbing to all the plumbing. And there was a story where Dan Harrison was talking to a guy at Bean Lee in just south of Brisbane, um, where Dean had his first encounter with a Yowie at a place where I actually used to live at Bean Lee, which has got, um, if you really want to check me out, War um, Mount Warren Park, and then across the Bean Lee River is, um, starts with Y, um, oh, I'll think of a second, it's down here somewhere, it starts with a Y, um, and see, look, is not good at wrong here, look, see Colo Heights, <laughs> that's not Colo Heights, that's the Pony Road, and that's East Carajong. Because <laughs> that's where my farmhouse is. I actually drove up there, went into that lane there, my motorhome broke down about a quarter of a kilometre up the hill on the corner of Blacksons Ridge Road. That's exactly where that is. And down the bottom of the hill down there is my mate um, Gary's property. So I know that there. I grew up there as a kid. And that's where I've done that film story on that Yowie down at um, uh, Blacksons Ridge because that's where Blacksons Ridge Road runs off, just up above that. And here he's got, he's got the sign there saying Colo Heights. Colo Heights is another 20, uh, 15 kilometres north of that actual sign location. So again, Dean Harrison's got it wrong again. Um, Glenbrook Yowie, I've got a Glenbrook Yowie story down there in mine. Bandara is uh, west of um, Urala. Now, Urala is just south of Armadale, but north of Tamworth. And if you want to see the countryside, I've got a video down there on Bendemir. So that gives you an idea. Dorigo Railway, um, that's up that way too, Dorigo Dishes Railway Light, and I went up there to Dorigo and the Waterfall one, that might be the one there, but what was the point I was going to say, there's the Sunny Corner one again, that's the one I went out there, and this young guy tried to make out, he seen a Yowie stand over there in the bushes and he heard some noises, and when I got him on the phone, he turned around and he said to me, he said, yeah, I was out there at Sunny Corner, I had my remote control car, and he was standing on top of the dirt off the main road. So at Sunny Corner, you get a main road like that, and then it goes up the dirt thing like that, and he was standing up here on top of the dirt in the pine forest, and it was driving around there, and he looked over the background, and he said he's seen something over there. I said, oh, so you're out there by yourself? And he said, no, he said, I had my mate drove me out there. And then all of a sudden in the background you hear tap, tap, tap on a piece of wood like you hear like this. And 